Hey everyone, it's Sean, and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I'll be doing another tutorial on how to set up the overlay that I use in my videos. I made something like this a while back on my 960, but as some of you may have noticed, there's been quite a few changes since I've upgraded to the 1070. I'll be showing you step by step on how to set it up exactly as I do. So to start it off, open up your browser and search up MSI Afterburner. Click the first link you see, and then head to the Downloads tab. Select the beta download because I'm not too sure if the stable release has the things that I use in the overlay now, but anyway, click on the beta download and I'll be back when it's done. Now that the download is done, open up the zip file and run the setup file. Click yes on the UAC dialog and select the language that you prefer. Click next and accept the terms of agreement. After that, click next. This is the important part. Make sure that you have Reva Tuner checked on this part, otherwise there will be no overlay at all. After it's checked, click next, choose where you'd like to install it, and then hit next again. You can choose to create or not to create shortcuts, and then you can hit install. After the install is done, the setup for Reva Tuner will come up. Do the same things you did for the Afterburner setup and install Reva Tuner. So after both of those are done, you view the readme if you want, and then you can launch Afterburner. Once Afterburner is open, navigate to the settings panel. You can modify any of the options on this page to your liking. I usually launch Afterburner with Windows and have it minimized, so if you want that, you can do it too. On the next tab, you can set up your fan curve, which I will do right now. So after you set up your fan curve, you can finally move on to the most important tab, which is the monitoring tab. This is where we can choose what to show in the overlay itself. To start off, the first two rows of my overlay are dedicated to the GPU. So for the first row, we'll be focusing on the GPU usage and the temperature. First up is the usage. Click show in on-screen display to have it, well, show up on the overlay, and then check the box for override group name so you can change the title of the row on the overlay. My overlay shows the GPU name, so I'll set it to GTX 1070. Do the same steps for the temperature. I have the usage shown first, so I move the usage tab above the temperature tab as you can see here. Moving on to the second row, we will have the core clock and memory usage shown here. You will do the exact same steps, but the only thing you change is the name. I use dashes to signify that it's just a continuation of the row above that. And of course, do the same for memory usage. I have the core clock come before memory usage, so drag the tab above memory usage like we did with the GPU usage tab. The third row is for the CPU info. I display the temperature and the usage. Again, do the same things you've done so far, only changing the name for your CPU. After that's done, we move on to the RAM row, which I name as the type of RAM I have and, and the speed in which it runs. So it's DDR4-2133. For the final row, we display the frame rate and frame time. As you may be able to notice, everything is grayed out. This is because you have to click the check mark next to the frame rate and frame time tab. This will allow you to change the options. Don't click the checkbox for override group name on either of them, but do check the box to show an on-screen display for both. After that, you can set up a hotkey in the on-screen display tab. I use insert, but you can use whatever you want. When you're done, click OK. Once you click OK, you'll see that Reva Tuner has opened in your taskbar. Simply click this icon and it'll bring up the Reva Tuner window where you can edit your overlay to your liking. The first thing I start with is the font. So click the tiny arrow next to the raster 3D option and it'll open the font dialog. I use a special GeForce font, which you can find in the description. However, if you'd like to use a different one, you obviously can. I also set the font size to 8 to make it more readable. This will vary with the font you, you, you choose to use. Click OK and you'll see that the font changed in the preview. Increase the slider one notch to make the overlay a little larger and set the X position to 738. This will make it so that the overlay is in the middle of the screen at 1080p. After you've done that, click the setup button. This will bring up some extra options. The only thing you need to do here is enable the graph. This will allow you to show any stuttering that happens in game so it shows up on the graph. Click OK and let's see how the overlay looks in game. So as you can see, the overlay looks awesome. However, it doesn't quite look like mine. For example, the titles aren't in color and the graph isn't showing up. Well, this is because we didn't enable a few options. To get the graph to actually show up, enable the Show Own Statistics option in Reva Tuner, as you can see here. Now to set up the colorful titles, go back to the Afterburner settings, head to the Monitoring tab, click on any of the things that are on your display, and change the classic theme to Modern. This will make your overlay look more modern and colorful. Let's head back in game to see the changes. Now as you can see, the graph has finally showed up and the overlay looks a lot more clean after changing it to a modern theme. But you'll notice that the graph extends far past the overlay itself, so it, let's shorten it a little bit. This is going to require you to edit some config files. 
Head to Program Files x86 and you'll want to take ownership of the entire Riva Tuner folder so you can edit the config files. I use the Take Ownership Registry files to easily right click and take ownership so you should probably grab that. So what you want to do is right click and take ownership of the Riva Tuner folder. After this is done, head into the folder and go into the Profile Templates folder. Scroll down until you see the global file, right click this and open it with WordPad. Scroll down until you see the frame time history height and width rows. Change the width to negative 18 and the height to negative 2. Click save and let's go back in game and look at the graph now. As you can see it fits perfectly with the size of the overlay and it doesn't extend past. This is all the steps you need to take to make the overlay look a lot more clean. And that ends the tutorial. Let me know of any other tutorials you guys would like to see because I'd be happy to do them. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.